Hello everybody, this is Kraken Packs MTG, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. I picked up a couple of these cubes from Walmart. I went looking for the chaos boxes or the mystery boxes. I think those have been discontinued or sold out because I can't find them in stores or online anymore. But they are selling these, and you get two booster packs, one deck, and the acrylic storage cube for roughly 20 bucks plus tax. A while back, these were really good because you had the potential to get a commander deck inside of it. And then the second round of these, they were pulling some shenanigans and they were putting land packs in them. And I believe this is the third go round. And what we're going to do is a, is it worth it to buy these? We're going to see if they still just have land packs or if they have something actually worthwhile in it. So let's go ahead and open this guy. see what we've got in this first one all right you got a little piece of paper in the way all right we're not going to look at what that is yet we have a pack of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiance so first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our packs all right so let's flip through here and see if there's a Rhythm of the Wild, that's a buck or so, Gates of Blaze, and it Absorb. Not a bad little hit. These went up uh, a couple bucks the last month or so. I think they're sitting around 5 or $6. That would have been a good card to buy earlier this year, or earlier last year, because they were down around a dollar or two. And a Gruesome Menagerie. All right, that's all we got out of those two. So let's see what we have here. All right, let's open it. Let's see if we can tell from the back of it. All right, that's an Eldritch Moon card. Let's just go ahead and flip it over to the front. Okay. This is, it says Intro Pack. So I'm not quite sure what that is, but we're going to Uvenwald Observer Foil. Emrakul's Evangel, Crossroads Consecrator, so I'm not even quite sure what this is. So there's two rares there, a couple of uncommons. Alright, that seems really bad. So it's an intro pack. If you guys know what that, I don't know if this, these are the free decks they give away at the game stores. Or what they are, but I don't feel like we got our value out of that one. Um, let's throw that guy to the side and go look at the next one. I just stabbed myself with a knife a little bit there. Remember, kids, be careful with sharp objects. All right, the same. Packs here, that one's in there. Wedged in there really good, so let's set that to the side. Let's open our packs. Look, I'm bleeding from it now, too. Alright. Oh, nice. All right, this card made that box worth it almost. There's an Assassin's Trophy and the Is It Guildgate in there. Not too shabby. I'll be honest with everybody. I think these two Ravnica sets, they're gonna they're getting slept on by everybody right now, and I think they're gonna age very very well here in the next couple of years. Um, amplifier. I think these are going to be really sought after once you just can't go to your local game store and buy them. And I know the, uh, the professor has done a video on these. I know Joey Moss has done quite a few of them. But I just wanted to take a chance myself here. All right, what is this random? All right, we have a foil ember swallower. I have no idea what these even are. Did they just take a 
a I feel like these are decks, but I don't know. Did they just take a random... There's a Polish Crusher, Polish Crusher, whatever you want to call them. These have to be some sort of pre-con. I don't know what. But I don't think they're worth what we're paying for them. Luckily, we got a... Assassin's Trophy of that last one to help soften the blow a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to make sure to keep my finger out of the way of that one. Alright, I don't know if you guys already saw that one, but it looks like the same exact deck that we got out of the last one. Here's our Guilds Pack. Thought Erasure. Oh man, this card. And then we got a Mythic of Hearts and Multitudes. Very nice. We get a Shockland out of this one. That will be absolutely fantastic. Oh, Guardian Project. This is worth about four or five bucks now. I, I guess it was about a year ago. I bought Star City Games out of these multiple times. I bought them at, I think they had them for 30 or 49 cents a piece. I can't remember what it was, but that was a, uh, a good pickup there. And yeah, this looks like the same exact junk we got out of the last one. It is. Same thing. Yep. No use even flipping through that. So my recommendation on these is steer clear. Get as far away from them as you can. Um, I did this. You guys didn't have to. Uh, you know, you're better off. That's With tax, you're looking at about 22 bucks. So you're better off just buying two packs. Go to your local game store and uh, save yourself $15 or so. We're going to open something else because uh, those were so bad. All right, who wants the arena code? And then we have an inspiring veteran. <coughs> Excuse me again. A legion's in and an iron crag feet. Those uh, mystery cubes from Walmart were so bad, they're choking me up. Arena code. Slain fire, dread horde butcher, and a gadwick. So far, these haven't been that great for me. All right, let's see here. We're gonna do it this way. That way we're, we're surprised. Third arena code. Then, uh, let's start at the front. We get a foil Otakaya. We get our glass casket. And look how cute that little fox is in there. I think that's a fox. And, oh, poor brand, Thrain of the Fell, Red Fell. It's a nice little card. Let's see, do I got something else laying around here I can still open up? I got, I still, I've got tons of these promo packs. Let's open two more. Give you guys some more free arena codes. And I think today is the day Unsanctioned got released. Did you guys run and uh, pick some of that up? Arena code? If you did, let me know. Let me know how you like it. We have a Improbable Alliance. We have a Priest of the Forgotten Gods. And a Castle Inbreath. I think these lands, as we go through the years, these will be good to hold on to as well. Because they're all extremely cheap right now. And I feel like they'll be slotted in Commander decks as long as, uh, as, long as magic's a thing. Alright, Arena Code, number 5. Hero of Precinct 1. Inspiring Veteran. And last card. Oh! Last Pack Magic. Foil Oko Thief of Crowns. Promo. I wonder what this would have been worth before he got banned. I have no idea. But, for today's giveaway, guys. Um, 
What can I give? Oh, well, this is as good as anything. If you guys want to win this card, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, like the video, leave me a comment, and this beautiful foil Oko could be yours. And remember, stay far, far away from these.